Hey everybody, welcome to Sailing Tips. Today we're going to talk about synthetic rigging adjustments for foldable trimarans, specifically Barrier and Corsair models that would normally use a high field lever uh, to slacken the shrouds when you fold the boat. Stick around. So clearly it would be better to do an on the water demo, but as you can see, it's a little bit wintry out. So we're going to have to use our imagination a little bit. And uh, I'll show you how this works uh, with the boat on the trailer. Uh, maybe when summer rolls around, I'll do another video and show you how it works uh, on the actual water. The beauty of this system is that you never have to disconnect the shrouds. As you can see, uh, we, we leave this uh, lower uh, Caligo style fitting in place all the time. And this is exactly the position that it would be in um, once we raise the mast, uh, typically with the boat on the trailer. It would be in this uh, folded position. Now, if we were to launch the boat, and we're just going to have to imagine this part, we would then unfold this ama. Then we would simply grab the snap shackle and fine tune adjustment, pull it down, which is going to pull slack out of the course adjustment. We uh, banjo it a few times. And um, once we've pulled out enough slack, which we can see when we get to the tape mark on it, we're gonna go ahead and attach this to a pad eye in the aft beam. And um, there we go. There, it's that easy. Now we've pulled out the eight inches of slack that's required to fold the boat. And we simply do the same thing on the other side, the boat's ready to sail. To undo it, we simply do the opposite. Unhook the snap shackle. Banjo the uh, course adjustment a bit, and you can see it's pulling slack out, or pulling slack rather into the course adjustment. Snap shackle is sort of going up, and uh, voila, you're ready to fold the boat. I'd say that took about uh, 10 or 15 seconds to tighten and slacken. Here's a close-up overview of the system. So here on the on the float, uh, you can see the lower synthetic uh, terminator. Um, with the Dyneema lashings with the tape mark. Um, so you can tell when you've pulled the right amount of slack out. And this, of course, this is in the um, folded position. Uh, up here, you've got the uh, upper synthetic terminator with the shroud uh, and the bungee cord to simulate the rig tension for the purposes of this uh, demo. Uh, and then up there, you can also see the secret sauce to the whole thing, which is really the uh, small Caligo style terminator uh, which has been sliced, spliced in at the exact right uh, position. Uh, if the mast were up, that small Caligo terminator would be right against that fitting. Um, but because we're simulating it, it's not quite working. Uh, in any case, we've got the fine adjustment down here, uh, which we only use um, to adjust the rig tension when we're sailing. And uh, we typically only do that uh, when we've been sailing in big seas and the boat's been pounding a bit. Uh, that tends to put a bit of slop in the rig, but uh, if we're sailing in calm conditions, uh, we can launch and sail the boat uh, many times without ever touching that uh, fine grain adjustment. There are some enhancements you could make to this system. Uh, for example, you uh, could replace this uh, fine grained uh, lashing here, uh, which you have to tie uh, with a small block and tackle uh, that would allow for a real time adjustability uh, while you're sailing. Um, similarly, you could take a piece of uh, Dyneema from the aft uh, pad eye here, up through that loop, back to the aft pad eye, and then to the cockpit on a cam cleat or something like that, which would allow you to actually adjust it, uh, the rig tension uh, from the cockpit. So you can play around with it. Uh, I think the key, the key learning though, is to splice some kind of stopper uh, into the coarse grained adjustment here so that it can't go through the upper Caligo fitting uh, at the exact position uh, required uh, in the folded position, because then your mast simply can't fall over uh, when your rig is up, and, and you don't have to, you don't never have to detach um, the shrouds. Uh, we lost our rig uh, over the side once because our uh, mast raising wires failed. So now we always have the main shrouds in place, and of course, uh, really, really bad things have to happen for the rig to fall over in those circumstances. We also use halyard backups, uh, but I'll do another video on uh, exactly how we raise and lower the mast. So anyways, hope you find this video helpful. Uh, give it a like and a thumbs up and uh, hope to see you out there on the water. Thanks so much for watching.